Hi lovelies, my name is Boop and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I decided that I needed to express my love for Dungeons and Dragons once again. So this time we are letting my dice create my character. I'm super excited to see what we get and I can't wait to show you the outcome of this. It's gonna be so cool. So please stay tuned and I will see you as the video starts. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I have a little bit of a weird setup on how I'm doing this. Um, so first off first, we're going to be doing the lineages, which is a d20. Um, so let's use this big die. And let's see what we get. An 11. An 11 is changeling, a fairy, or an eldritch. Uh... I like that and then we're gonna roll a d4 to see uh which one we get and if we get a four we re-roll it get we got a two i don't know if you guys can see that on the camera or not we got a two so that means we got a fairy that's a fairy uh, yay! We got a little fairy. I'm so excited. Uh, so now we choose the class. So for the class, uh, we are going to be rolling two, two d8s. Uh, if we get an eight, we we roll. Um, but we have to label which one of these is going to be the first set and which one of these is going to be the second set. Uh, so let me find my d8 very quickly. There's a d8. And there's a gate. So we're gonna roll the first set, which is one through one through eight. First set, we could be an artificer, a barbarian, a bard, a blood hunter, a cleric, a druid, or a fighter. Uh, so let's roll that. We got a six. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, which happens to be a druid. So let's highlight that. And now we roll number two. Uh, so we could be seven, a wizard. That's cool. <laughs> a fairy wizard, that would be fun. Uh, and now we take a D2 and this is side number two. This is side number one. Whichever one we get, we'll decide uh, what class our our little fairy is going to do. Hopefully I can land this in there. I did not land it in there, but if you see it on camera, we got number one. So we are going to be a little fairy druid. That's so cute. I actually love that. All right. And now we go on to gender identity. So for our gender identity, we're going to roll a d4. Uh, Reroll the four. And one, two, and three are our gender identities. So let me do, let me find my four again. We got a one, uh, so we will be feminine. Cute little feminine druid fairy. And now we're gonna roll a d10 for the backstory. This is probably my favorite part because this is what we're gonna be basing like how we do our character. First, I have to find a d10. Uh, there's a d10. Okay. All right, let's go. We got number one. Number one is, it says, your parents were killed during a bandit raid on your village. Your goal is to avenge them. So let's make a character that is a fairy, a druid, feminine, and is avenging their parents. Let's get into it.
Hey guys, so the original audio for most of the intro of the video uh, was corrupted. So I re-recorded parts of the video after doing the original dice casting. Uh, so if you're wondering why I suddenly changed clothes, that is why. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Now that the art is done, I wanted to show off some stuff I made for this character. Um, I've been inspired by a fellow D&D Notion user, Shaping Sean, uh, link to their channel below. To create a D&D character database to track all of my characters I've ever made and ever will make. I've added a bit more to it to fit my play style, but the about section is largely inspired by Sean's video, which will also be linked down in the description. Uh, first, we're going to go through the character sheet and then the about section to really get a feel for the character my dice has made. So, I would like everyone to meet uh, Lixie Gravewind, a fairy who is also a druid circle of spores. Uh, this is a little character sheet I've made, uh, and we'll go through it uh, just a little bit, just so uh, you guys get an idea of how this character sheet works. Now, it's not all the way filled out. Uh, I still need to add the actions, the bonus actions. Uh, I believe I have the features and traits, but I don't have the spell book ready. Um, I was just so excited that I wanted to show it off as soon as possible. But um, we have a quote from Lixie um, and then, you know, the regular stats, proficiencies and languages. Uh, Lixie is not currently used in a campaign, so I don't have anything for the party or inventory or items. Um, but for features and traits, we have the ritual casting, wild shape, halo spores, symbiotic entity, and hermit, as well as fairy magic and flight for the racial tweet. Wait, wait, wait. Um, but as you can see, if you click on each one, uh, it you can put in. Uh, information about the um, features and traits again this is not done yet but I was just too excited and I really wanted to show it off uh, and there's a link to the about Lixie page which is what we're gonna go to now uh, if you want a copy of uh, this type of character sheet I have another video where I show off what I've made with honey um, and your, I'll link it down in the description below so you can go check it out. So now we're going to go to About Lixie. So, inspired by, uh, Sean's, uh, Sean's own D&D notion board type thing, I have the Art of Lixie right here, class, lineages, uh, her background is an urban bounty hunter, but she's not a part of a campaign and she doesn't have a character sheet. Uh, linked to D&D Beyond, that is. Uh, so we have this mood board. I went for kind of like a 
earthy kind of death type character uh because her background which we saw in the dice part of this video uh her parents were killed and so she is looking for revenge uh so if we click on the background i have just some stuff about Lixie from her appearance, her pronouns, uh, formal background info, which is more about like people, NPCs she is connected to, like uh, Karma and Lucia, which are her parents, uh, her brothers who are twins, Aspen, her best friend. Uh, but I kind of went like ham, so you can pause and read if you'd like. So to put it simply, uh, Lixie hails from a sanctuary deep in the forest with her clan. These fairies are weavers of fortunes and prophecy. They are often referred to as the dream weavers and are friendly to visitors provided they are friendly with them. Uh, they have a clan leader, leader named Bracken, uh, who is regarded as a protector of their clan and is Lixie's mentor. Uh, Lixie is very good at weaving, however, is not very good at prophesizing. Uh, when she is able to prophesy, it's almost always about the cycles of life of people she has never met. Um, one day, basically one day, a bunch of raiders and bandits came to try and, uh, capture all of these dreamweavers. In the process of the battle, Lixie's parents were killed by protecting her and her brothers. Uh, Bracken, with all of their might, tried to fend off the bandits, but their numbers were overwhelming for the small, small clan. Bracken and other warriors were slain, while Aspen, Cricket, and Quinn, uh, Aspen being the best friend, Cricket, and Quinn being her brothers, were taken hostage. During the raid, Lixie's anger, anger and sorrow manifested in a series of mysterious spores and fungi whose strange appearance interested the bandit leader, Luxon. These manifestations of sorrow provided Lixie with the chance to escape as they produced an invisible force that attacked those that threatened to hurt Lixie. Not understanding what was going on, Lixie escaped deeper into the woods. After days of foraging and surviving alone, Lixie made her way out of the woods and walked to the nearest town. That's a lot of backstory for a character that doesn't necessarily have a campaign yet, but I'm so excited to have Lixie in my back back pocket to pull out when I do have another campaign to use. Uh, for the aspirations, inspirations. Aspirations are basically what Lixie's uh, goals are. And then inspirations are just quotes that I thought would be really cool that I feel like would embody Lixie's character. Um, so we have, do not go gentle in that good night, carve your name on hearts by Shannon Alder, Virgil, um, and then for the playlist, I haven't made the playlist yet, but if you go over to Sean's, Shans? Sean's? I'm so sorry. If you go over to Shan's, uh, video, they have a really good playlist set up that I am most likely going to use in my own playlist, uh, section. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've got for Lixie. Um, and as you can see, I've been, whoa, I've been using this style for all of my uh characters and i really like it it's really fun um but it's kind of, it's really cool how you know just from a bunch of dice rolls on a table i can create this really intricate character who uh you know has aspirations and has like a background and has like a goal in mind to complete um and I think the mood board is just super cool. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, if you guys would like to use the D&D uh, dice character creation notion, I will link it down in the description. Uh, and, you know, you could always message me if you have questions because I love talking about D&D and it's my favorite thing ever. Uh, but yeah. So, I will do the whole YouTube outro thing. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever the YouTube stuff does. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's been amazing. And I will see you guys later.